Hello, my name is Roman, and this is going to be my video on the fastest and easiest way to get craft parts for Dying Light 2. And right off the bat, it's by leaps and bounds, it's buying them. And especially in the bazaar, when you first start off the game, there's three merchants that sell craft parts here. And you can get like a hundred almost of each common material each time you visit here if you have the money and you just go to them hold square and press triangle and make sure you're doing the buy all because there is a glitch that sometimes it'll drop the amount by one so you can keep on buying a certain material but buying them if you have the money it's not even funny how much better it is because like I'm going to show you uh, in a couple minutes what it usually is the normal rates if you just go looting but you get like literally 10 times the amount and buying them they're cheap too so let's go on to the evidence so here we have a rooftop grove one of the designated ways you're supposed to get these materials these are still 100 percent worth it because they give uh exclusive materials like there's no you can't buy flowers really and the uv streams are always worth it but see that resin plus three it's simply just way better to buy it. As for looting houses, you have to deal with fighters, which may be fun. But see here again, it, there, everything you loot comes in multiples of one. And you can buy that three resin for about like six dollars. And that's so easy to get. And same with the cans and wiring. It's multiples of one. But here we're taking a look at a Forsaken hardware store. Okay which is where you're supposed to get your craft parts. And here, it's it's also pretty disappointing the amount that you get. One thing I will say that is good for scraps, but here's a quick montage to show what I got. And I even included this trash can. But as you can see, the main thing was scraps, which are pretty good. Like they came in pickups of 14, which is definitely worth it if that's all you're looking for. But here's some more house losing. And yeah, again, multiples of one. Uh, it's pretty much a waste of time, honestly, when you could uh, do other things. And those other things are things that you can be doing to make money to buy those craft parts. And and it's not like the merchants take a long time to restock. It only takes about 15 minutes max. Like, I'd just be in the bazaar. I could even like sleep and wake up. And I I'm per I swear to God they would just restock. But anyways, we're one-shotting goons here. And goons, uh, this is my suggested way of making money is the military convoys. You can see here, I also don't loot bodies that much because i got three empties in a row. But if you get a goon during your military convoy, it's a good thing because it's a hundred bucks usually you can get from them. But here, you're looking for MRE rations inside these military convoys. They sell for, I believe it's uh, close to 300 or 200 somewhere but in that range. But this is the easiest way I find to make money because it's on the surface. You do it during daytime. You don't really have to kill the infected. You can find a way around it. But and during the nighttime, there's these uh, viral encounters on the rooftops, which if you loot them, they give I found like at least twenty dollars each, and you get the trophies, which are really good for your craft master, obviously. So anytime you see these, you want to be doing them. Last thing is selling weapons, like old weapons. They give good money, as you see here. But as moral of the story is, as long as you have money. You should always be buying craft parts, and it beats out almost any other method for farming craft parts. 
And as for the refreshing of merchants, you can use the three in the bazaar, and you'll run out of money before you run out of merchants that sell you craft parts, especially with all the trading posts around in the game. But that should be your takeaway from this video: is to always buy craft parts. That's all I've got for you today, though. If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider giving it a like and sharing it to those who might also find it helpful. And thanks for watching.